A giant of this size does not go gently. Turbine 3 spent yesterday ripping itself apart. All day they heard it groan and whine. The sounds were as loud as thunder and carried seven miles across the valley. Just a heavy banging noise like a low flying helicopter. At times banging noise. That went on from about three o'clock on Thursday night. And then on Friday, all day on Friday, it got worse then on Friday night, about seven o'clock or so. So we came up to here to see what was, there was an awful noise. So it wasn't that long after that then too, the, the noise stopped and we came back up again and the one mill was gone. Standing 80 metres tall, these turbines represent cutting edge technology. Computer controlled, they harness the power of the wind, turning it into electricity. Costing upwards of half a million pounds each, the collapse of Turbine 3 represents a major financial loss for the company operating this site. This is the first time a turbine of this size has collapsed in Northern Ireland. People in the industry are describing it as a highly unusual event, not least because there was no storm, there were no high winds, at the time the turbine came down. Some people are speculating that a fault in the control system may have caused the brakes to overheat and eventually melt. One witness reports the rotor spinning out of control. The resulting friction and metal fatigue may have weakened the structure which finally buckled and collapsed. Parts of the turbine can be found embedded hundreds of metres away. The company operating the wind farm is now investigating. With hundreds of similar structures across Northern Ireland, the results of that investigation are keenly awaited by the industry, hillwalkers and farmers. Martin Cassidy, BBC Newsline.